Hi everyone, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. Today I wanted to try a flower in a different color. I always have a tendency to stick to certain colors. So today I'm going to try a different blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to use Aquamarine by Ranger. So I'm going to put my drop in the center and I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to use Pink Sherbert, also by Ranger, which is a very light color. And I'm going to put a couple of drops here and there, just so I get some different colors in my petals towards the ends. Now I'm going to use my airbrush and the PSI is set at 40. Let me make sure I have no moisture trapped in there. It's been raining in New Jersey for days now. So it's very damp in my basement. Okay, so I'm going to put down a large drop of alcohol because I want large petals. And I'm going to start blowing the petals from a distance. Let it sit for a moment so it softens the ink. And I tell you this all the time, make sure that you dry the petal all the way to the very end, otherwise you get these weird shapes at the tips. And you can see it's giving me, putting down the two colors as I did, it gives me a pretty pink on the uh, on one side and the blue on the other. And you get these veins in the petals that are really pretty. If you see your petal is going in a direction that you don't like, just clean it up a little bit and you can redirect the alcohol. If you have too much alcohol, you can mop some of it up.
And to create the larger petals, I hold the airbrush further away because I find that it blows the petal out this way as opposed to just outward towards the end of the paper. So let me get a clean cotton swab because that one has red from the previous flower that I made. So I'm holding it about maybe two inches away from the paper. And I'm not blowing directly on the petal, but as it dries, I do move it up. And of course you can see how the alcohol is drying in the ink, so you move up accordingly. But if you blow right on the petal, I mean the puddle with the ink, it's going to made, make the ink explode on the paper, so to speak. It blows out across the paper. Making sure my tip is dry and it's not. Let it sit for a moment. little piece of fuzz on the paper. And now I'm just making sure the tip is dry. This is looking so pretty. Unfortunately, I don't like the way this petal went, so I'm going to attempt to create another petal over that. Hopefully this one will look better.
right. Not crazy about this petal either, but I'm going to leave that alone. And we're going to create a center now. I will be using micro brushes and I'm going to use a snow cap, but I think I want a pink for the center. So I'm going to use some wild plum. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to put down the wild plum first on my palette. But it's clogged. So when it's clogged, I put a little bit of alcohol on the tip, let it sit for a moment so it'll soften the alcohol, I mean the uh, ink. And then as you can see right there, it's working. So I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to move it around on my palette a little bit so that some of the alcohol evaporates. because I want it kind of thick, the ink, not so wet. So I'm just moving it around on my palette so it dries a bit. And then I'm going to tap off some of the excess ink on my micro brush. And then I'll start tapping in. very quickly on my palette so just putting down a little bit of alcohol to reactivate the ink but I don't want it very wet so I'm blowing on it to help it dry tapping off the excess from my micro brush and now coming back in. So in the previous video that I posted, I created the center using a Posca pen and the snow cap now we're moving on to three colors. So really what I'm creating here is the foundation for my center. Since I don't have a dark base to start with. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to use the snow cap. I'm going to put that down on my palette couple of drops and I'm going to take a clean micro brush and move that around on the palette so it dries a little bit. You can also use your blow dryer to dry it but I'm just going to move it around a little bit. Tapping off the excess from the micro brush And let me just dry this center a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go.
Now the white will absorb some of the color that's underneath. Bringing some of the white down to the bottom. Just a little bit. But I'm going to concentrate more of the white on the top where the light is coming from. Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm going to use my Posca pen. And what I'm doing is pumping the ink onto my palette on, from the Posca pen. I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm just pumping the pen so it releases some of the paint that's in it onto the palette. And now I'm going to take a clean um, brush, a, mi a micro brush, and tap it into that paint. Tap off the excess, and I'm going to add some more dots up top. And the reason I do this is because the alcohol ink, of course, is alcohol based and it absorbs the color that's underneath it, but the Posca pen is an acrylic paint and it doesn't absorb it as much and it makes the whites brighter okay i think that's finished so i'm going to dry it And leave it at that. So this is how I used two colors because the center of my flower wasn't dark enough so I added a darker color first and then put the white over that. Let me move this lamp. Turn this around for you. and show you what that looks like. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And as always, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Vivo Vintage Designs. Thanks for watching. Bye.